Hey everyone and welcome back. Um, very special Your Chubby Bubby video today because this past weekend in Lexington, Kentucky, I did a thing. <laughs> All right, join me for this adventure. All right, you may be wondering, Big Whoop, you went to Lexington in March. Yeah, well, I went to this, the Lexington Comic and Toy Convention. It was awesome. First Comic-Con I've ever been to. Um, a lot more people than I imagined. I was fortunate enough to go two days, both Friday and Saturday. And was it life-changing? Probably not. Was it a bunch of fun? Yes. Uh, I got to meet actors, voice actors, comic book illustrators, comic book and content creators. It was amazing. And for someone like me who's grown up really in the 90s and the early 2000s, um, that was my childhood. And it was amazing to see the people who created that give voice to it and start in it. So I'm going to take you on a little bit of a journey uh, over the two days. And that way, if you ever go to a comic book convention or a comic con, You'll kind of know what to expect, and after the first time, you'll be searching for more local venues uh, like I have. <laughs> so, let's get into it. First thing, you're going to be overwhelmed. Very, very overwhelmed. All right? Um, as you go through, you'll pick up little swag packs, or they're basically just glorified business cards with QR codes on the back. So anything that you think you might like, it, whether it be vintage video games, uh, vintage comic books, or sometimes just food vendors, there was some fudge there that was amazing, uh, and also some beverages that was amazing, like old school lemonade and root beer, um, delicious stuff. And I got cards from them because I knew, well, after Comic Con, I'm probably going to want some fudge. So make sure you pick up their little business cards as you go through. Um, you won't regret it because in a couple months when you get that hunger or that thirst, you'll be like, I know exactly where I'm going. Thing number two, you're going to have a lot of opportunities to meet, shake hands, talk to, and take selfies with creators and illustrators and actors. Don't get overwhelmed. Most of this stuff is cash. Uh, very few places took um, Apple Pay or debit payment. Almost everything was cash, and I get that. It's easier for them. If they handle it in cash, they don't have to worry about, you know, getting their equipment together or anything like that. So it's a lot simpler, but make sure that you don't um, overspend <laughs> uh, because you're going to have opportunities. I mean, they come every year. Most of them hit multiples a year. So if you don't hit them in Lexington, you might be able to hit them in Huntington or Indiana. Um, you might have to travel a little bit if you live in a certain city, but you're going to have other opportunities. So don't get overwhelmed. Number three, when you do buy things, most of them are already personalized. Like this one right here, all of these, they had them pre, pre ready. That way it's kind of easier for them. Signatures, autographs, most things are already pre personalized. So don't be offended. Or don't think, well, why didn't they take time out and sign like me? Now, some of them will. Some of them will personalize as you're there. So they'll sign it as you're waiting in line, or you'll, you can take it to them. You can talk to them as they sign it. Tell them how much you appreciate them, and just enjoy being with them. And that's what they're there for. Um you're the reason that they have this opportunity to create the art that they do. So they're very excited to see you, I found out, more than what I expected. I mean, they were genuinely excited to see, even though they had no idea who I am, they knew that I was at a Comic-Con, and they knew that I was at their booth. And that was a very cool feeling. I mean, it was very surreal, because they looked at me, and then they smiled when they saw me looking at their, their, their information and their merch, um, because they knew that I was a fan of their stuff. And sometimes I didn't buy anything. Sometimes I couldn't afford an autograph or a selfie. But I sit and talked to them, shook their hand, and just told them how much I appreciated what they do. 
and they enjoyed that. They, I believe, honestly, they enjoyed being there. So don't think that just because you're not handing them money hand over fist that they don't appreciate what you're doing because they know that you're supporting them in one way or another. Otherwise, you wouldn't be there. You wouldn't be talking to them. So you don't have to purchase things from them to show your appreciation. Number four. I don't know why this is numbered. Um, I didn't start out that way, but we are here. So <laughs> take breaks. I went there with some family and friends. So you can leave the comic, you can leave Comic-Con and you can grab something to eat. You can go take a nap and then you can come back. When you get these passes, they're good all day. Now people are checking. Don't forget these. Like if you go eat, don't lay these down because as you re-enter the convention center, um, they will check and they'll make sure that you still have your passes. So don't lose them because I'm sure if you lose them, then you're just out for that day. And if you get all four or all five of them, or if you get your four day pass and you lose that, you're up the creek. They may, I don't know, they may be able to like rescan your QR code from your ticket that they emailed you. I can't guarantee that. Um, you'll have to check. You'll have to read about that because I don't know the rules. I kept my passes with me for dear life. <laughs> so enjoy yourself. Take breaks. Don't get overwhelmed, especially if you have small children with you. Um, I didn't take my daughter this time. Next time I am. But you have to be aware that they get tired quicker than you do. They get overstimulated quicker than you do. I was very overstimulated. I mean... The first day when I got there Friday and I saw the scale of it, you know, Lexington Comic Con was in um, Rupp Arena. That's a big facility and it was on all three floors. So, I mean, it took up the entirety of, you know, Rupp Arena in Lexington. So, if you try to do all that in one day or all that in one visit, you're going to get overwhelmed. You're going to get tired. It's not going to be as big of an experience as you thought it would because you'll be, you know, you won't get to do everything you want to do, so take your time. Number five. If you pick this up when you enter, this is your roadmap. This will tell you everything going on, when panels are, when um, discussions are, what's going on in the game rooms and the, co and the uh, costumes. Yes. All right, this might be a number six, but I'm going to roll into number five. When you dress up, it's amazing. I did not dress up being my first Comic-Con, but everyone else did. I mean, well, not everyone else, but a majority of the people did. And some of these costumes, some of these outfits, um, they were amazing. So if you do amateur or professional cosplay, you are on a whole other level. Because some of the detail in these costumes, like I saw some... Um, a lot of, you know, Star Wars was really big. A lot of Teen Titans. Like, I saw a bunch of Ravens, a couple of Beast Boys. Um, of course, you know, Jedi, Stormtroopers. And it was just amazing to see just the variety. I mean, Naruto, Dragon Ball, you know, all the 90s anime that I grew up with and 80s anime. Um, it was amazing to see that because, you know, in real life, you know, everyday living, you don't see someone dressed up as, you know, a Shaputin character. So, very cool, eye-opening, you know, the detail that was going in the costumes. You know, Nintendo characters, Sega characters. Very cool. And if you want to get into it, you know, they had panels. You know, original design for cosplay. Um, cosplay, you know, Q&A panels. Um, <laughs> they even had, like, Harry Potter duels. Uh, very awesome. I mean, and, and there's always something going on. I mean, this was just over the course of four days. And you can see that those four days were full. Thursday, you know, everything's set, getting set up. Everything's, you know, coming into play. Every Comic-Con will be different because, for instance, they're going to be one in a couple months in Huntington, West Virginia. It's just going to be a two-day event, Saturday and Sunday. So I would imagine Saturday is going to be packed. You know what I'm saying? Sunday, the place still going to be packed. So it's just, just two days. And that's the only opportunity that at least you have to, to get in there. So the first day won't be as laid back as what Lexington was in Huntington. So 
just be prepared for that plan accordingly. So you're probably going to have to be a little bit more fast-paced with that one than a four-day event. But still, don't get overwhelmed. Don't push yourself too far. Don't push your kids too far or your spouse or whoever you're bringing. You know, have fun. But that's all I want to do with this emergency Your Chubby Bubby video. Um, like I said, the comic book, I went Saturday. I'm sorry, Friday and Saturday. Today is Tuesday, so I'm posting this a couple of days after. This will probably go up on Tuesday. So plan accordingly. If you want to go, you don't have to break the bank to go to a Comic-Con. You can go and enjoy yourself and talk to all these amazing people and experience this for just the price of a, you know, a day pass or a two-day pass. You don't have to feel overwhelmed or you don't have to feel obligated to pay for autographs or selfies or merch they're genuinely happy just to see you there because they know that you enjoy their content. And I didn't expect that. I expect everything just to be money, 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 spend. But it wasn't. It was very refreshing and I didn't expect it. It was very cool. So if you're interested in something like this, you know, there's Facebook and Instagram uh, groups that you can join. There's websites. You just, just Google comic book convention near me. See what pops up. It might you know, have like a three or a four state radius. You know, you might have to travel 100 miles, but it's worth it. If you're into this stuff, if you're not into this stuff, this video is totally not for you. So <laughs> take my advice for a grain of salt. You just like and comment, you wasted my time. <laughs> but I thank you very much for watching this video. I thank you very much for following me and you know interacting with me. Thank you for leaving me comments. And thank you for telling me comments in person. I got a couple of things um, recently that I never thought of. You know, I bought some things again. So, <laughs> very fun times. The channel's growing and I love it. So, thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.